Hello, Menno from II Aquare here, creator of Ceilings of Sound Pro and Mix Monolith. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Mix Monolith. The Mix Monolith takes hours and hours of work and condenses it down to minutes. It's a plugin that's like nothing else out there. It's an automatic mixing system. When, when a, a, mix, a, a mix engineer begins a mix, he'll start with what is called a faders up mix. They will set everything in the mix to the same relative volume. That doesn't mean where their faders are, but when they're looking at luffs, everything is set to minus 30 luffs or minus 25 luffs, minus 23, whatever luffs they choose. But everything is exact same perceived volume, how our ear perceives it. And then they'll begin there. And what they, what they will do for, to, to make changes, uh, and if you talk to a, a professional mix engineer, they'll probably tell you this, is when you, when you adjust from there, because obviously, you know, not everything should be the exact same volume. You want to make moves in increments of about 5 dB. 5 is the, the, the universal, not the universe, the, the number for balance. 5 senses, 5 fingers, 5 limbs from your torso. It is the number of balance. And when, and when you move things in increments of 5, we call those level planes. So if, some, if two things are, are the exact same luffs, perceived volume, but one is, it seems too loud, is way too loud and you want to move it back, if you just simply move an increment of 5 dB, you don't even have to go anywhere in between, just 5 dB, you go, okay, that's perfect, or still a little too loud, another 5, 10 dB lower, uh, perceived volume lower, so instead of 25, it'd be minus 35 luffs, perfect. When you move on these level planes, it, you'll, you'll have a perfect mix very quickly. You know, there's, you don't have to fidget in between. So we have implemented that into Mix Monolith. So when you, you simply apply Mix Monolith on each track. So for your kick drum, you bring in, a, bring in a monolith, you choose kick as a preset, and automatically it has a luff set. And then snare, you choose a preset, hi-hat, bass, guitar, everything, all the instrumentation, you know, your background strings, whatever. And there's, there's different things, like for a hi-hat, you, you know, there's some where the hi-hat is like really up front for rock. So it'll say, you know, hi-hat forward, and that'll be, you know, minus 35 lefts. And then you say hi-hat, you know, tucked, and that'd be minus 40. And they'll, they'll have things set. And every time you, you bring up a monolith, it's going to link and automatically connect with all the other monoliths. So even if your, your um, track consists of 150, you know, different tracks, and you've got like guitars for days, or you've got like all these background vocalists, or whatever. You, you, you bring them up and you put it on each one and they'll all talk to each other. And then once you've done that, and again, these are gonna, your monolith is gonna adjust the volume. So you're, what you're gonna do then too is also put all of your faders to, to unity gain. So they're all gonna be right at zero. Just zero out your faders. Leave your, your pans as you wish, as you like them, but zero out all your faders because the monolith is going to do that. Now, go back to the beginning of the song. Once you've set up all your monoliths, um, we're talking leveling right now, bring your master you know, fader down because you're, it's going to be incredibly, incredibly loud if you listen to it like that. And then just hit start the song and hit mix all channels. And what's, that, what's going to happen is every single monolith, if you've got 150, they're all going to start learning their tracks and just play your song down. And when you're done, hit, hit mix all channels and every single monolith will adjust itself. And boom, you'll, you'll have a, a nice, a perfectly mixed song. Now, there are things that come in, in, into play. You could have a... Um, a um, a piano for a certain song might be a background instrument, whereas a piano for obviously, a, you know, like a Billy Joel type thing, a piano is going to be a foreground instrument. You know, if you had chosen just piano regularly or piano foreground, well, next thing you know, and but yet your piano was supposed to be a background, you could go, oh, wait, well, this doesn't sound right. Well, that's because all you have to do is just go in and move down level planes. So the fader that's on the on the monolith is, is you can hit level plane one, uh, level plane two, level plane or background or foreground, but it'll jump down to to the next level plane or hit background, boom, ten down. Or if if you needed it more than that, you can just simply type in like fifteen dB less, so twenty five, take it down to forty you know, say minus 40, and then you don't have to relearn, just hit mix this channel, and it'll automatically adjust that 
down three level planes and you'll go perfect. So, you know, the mixed monolith is designed to get you like 95% of the way there, sometimes 100%, depends on, you know, once you're really used to it and you go, okay, you know exactly where things will be setting. But 95% of the way there, and then you just make subtle adjustments from there. Now, we also added um, that is saved in the presets, there is an infinite amount of ducking groups. So what the, you know, when, when you're, when you're mixing, you, you always want to have your, like your kick is always ducking your bass. So if you, you know, your kick and your bass are going to be the exact same volume where they take up the, the same frequency range. So you always want to set up your, your ducking to, so that you, every time your kick hits, it moves your bass out of the way. So your bass just moves every time your kick hits. Um, generally, you'd have to bring a, up a compressor, set up side chain, and you know, and just really try to dial it in with a monolith. It's really simple. You just simply on your kick, you have you say send, and then you create a group. You type in kick, and then boom, a group is is created. You go to your base monolith. You you choose kick as your group. You choose receive. And then your, your kick is going to be coming out minus 25. It's going to be set to minus 25 left. So on the threshold, simply put minus 25. And then on the, um, on the range, uh, that's how much you want it to duck, say three. Because why you always want to duck three is if you, if you have two exact sounds, you know, frequency, like if you took a sound and then you just duplicated it and it's the exact same volume, the increase will always be three. It just, it's, three is just another universal number. If you had, uh, you know, two, two electric guitars, like you doubled up your guitars and they were both at minus 25 luffs, when they're playing together, the actual volume together will be minus 22. There will always be an increase of three. So when your kick and your bass, which take up the same frequencies are playing, that w every time the kick hits, that's, those frequencies are gonna be an increase of three. So. You just simply duck your bass by three. And when you, on the range, when you hit three, uh, our, our range and our ducking is set up to where it's gonna give you three dB every time perfectly. It's hard limited. So it's never gonna go 3.2, four, 3.5. It's gonna be three every time. If you set it to five, five every time. So all of that is saved in the presets as well. So you can set it up or when you bring up all your presets, you know, to mix your songs, those are all, all the ducking is saved with that. So all of your ducking, your, your kick is automatically going to be, when you hit mix all channels, not only has, have the monoliths set your, your, all of your, your levels, but your ducking is actually already going. Your, your, if you already had your reverbs for your vocals, your, your reverb is already, your vocal reverb is already being ducked out of the way by, by a whole level plane, by five dB and five every single time, you know, because it's hard, it's hard limited. Um, so that, again, it's all about time, saving time, making things quick, efficient, um, perfect. You know, ceilings of sound is for perfect equalization. Mixed monolith is, is for perfect, you know, leveling, ducking, same thing. And then, and you have infinite groups. So you, you can even use it where if you have a guitar that's a uh, main guitar that's playing, and then when, when something else comes in, you want that guitar to go up. Well, you can just set it to expand. It's ducking and expand. So then when the second guitar comes up, you set a group, it's sending, this, this guitar is receiving. When this one comes up, this one will move up by 3 dB. And then when he stops playing, he'll come back down without just by easily setting it up like that. So it's, it's ducking in an expansion as, as it relates to volume because everything is really, you know, compression, it's, it's all volume related. So in, in, in addition, you also have unlimited uh, mute groups. So you can set up all, you know, all your kicks together, all your ele certain elements, your background vocals, all of these things, and then just, and set and just mute. And you have infinite mute groups, infinite duck expansion groups, and they, and all of this stuff is saved in the presets. So in one pass, if you have all your presets set up and you've got all of that already implemented, your mute groups, your ducking and all that is, is in a single pass. Once everything is set up, you hit mix this channel and you're there. Normally you can take, it'll take hours and hours to set up your, your, your levels and dial things in and get things right and set up your, your ducking into your expansion. But because all of this stuff is saved in the presets and your monoliths and you, you take care of everything in one pass, the monoliths takes hours and hours of work and condenses it down to minutes.